Hello again, Final Community, Matt here, and I'm going to do an unboxing video in the car today. So, um, some of you guys saw a video I posted recently, of several weeks ago, where I showed um, a particular seller that I buy quite a few things from on eBay. And um, those items have arrived in three packages. I didn't realize I bought so much, but anyway. So we're going to have a look. It's two boxes of 45s right here. And there's another box which presumably has uh, LPs in it or 12-inch singles. Honestly, I don't remember what I bid on, which is kind of embarrassing. That's when you know it's getting bad, right? When you don't remember. So uh, let's uh, let's have a look. These are usually packed pretty tightly, so I'm going to be a little bit careful when opening. But yeah, I'm outside my work right now. I just figured uh, we would make a change to do an unboxing video inside the car. Um, Plus, my uh, music area at home is a little in disarray at the moment because I've been trying to get a few things um, organized differently. Okay, so let's start off with this first box. I think there's some pretty good stuff in here, um, if I remember. All right, and again, uh, as I've mentioned more than once now, the um, this particular seller ships for free worldwide. All the prices start at 99p, 99 pennies in the UK. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So first up, Living Color, Cult of Personality. This is a classic song. I kind of almost couldn't believe I didn't have it. Um, it says copyright 1991. I could have sworn it was from the 80s, like the late 80s, but um, I guess not. I guess it is from, it says 91 on it. So, uh, oh, you know what? That's interesting. It, the record says 88. Um, huh, this must be some sort of a reissue because it says 1988 for Cult of Personality, but there's a song, uh, but but the actual disc itself is 19, uh, 1991. I don't know what's up with that, but um, anyway, Living Color, Cult of Personality. Next up, we have Two Unlimited Faces. Uh, this wasn't one of their bigger hits, but it's okay, it was still like a top 20 in the UK. Um, yeah, it's on the PWL label. <laughs> um, two different versions of it. One's an edit version, one is a rap version. Um, I do not remember which version was the hit. I think it was the edit version. Um, that's from 93. Next up we have Japan, I Second the Emotion. A little bit of a new wave classic right there. I do like the label that's on too. It's on the, uh, the Hansa label. UK pressing. Well, I imagine all of these are UK pressings. That's from 1982. Next up we have In Excess, Disappear. I would like to get the album Kick. Um, is this on Kick? No, this isn't on Kick. This is on X, I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to get the album Kick um, on vinyl. It's kind of an aside, I guess. Um, it's pretty expensive. I do have it on CD. I also have X on CD too, but... Um, this is my first in excess uh, song on vinyl. It's on the uh, what label is this? Oh, Phonogram Mercury label. This is from what 1990, I think. Yeah, 1990. Next we have Dollar Mirror Mirror. Um, this is from 1981. Uh, this is, I bought this partly because this was when they became popular. Um, they switched record labels in the very early 80s. They went went to uh, Warner. And um, I used to have this when I was a kid, so it's kind of nostalgic. Let's see what labels it's on. I like the... It's kind of cool. This is on... Oh, Warner, obviously. <laughs> I just told you what label it was on. So yeah, it's on Warner. And uh, I honestly can't even remember how the song goes, but it was 99p, so why not? Next up, a little bit cheesy, Stock Aching Waterman, <laughs> uh, Cliff Richard, I Just Don't Have the Heart. Uh, I always like this, it's a, it's a good pop song. Um, oh, we've got the wrong record in here. Now that's very unusual, first time that's happened with this seller. The record that's in here is, uh, I'm trying to see which is the A side, this one I guess. Um, Pussycat, My Broken Souvenirs. From 1977. I have no idea what that is, but you know what? That's fine. I can put that in a generic sleeve and give it a listen. I, I do have this on vinyl on uh, Now 16. I don't 
think it, I, I I have Cliff Richard's uh, private collection, um, which is sort of a greatest hits from the late seventies to the late eighties. I don't think that's on it. I think um, I think that I think I just don't have the heart came out slightly after that album. Anyway, let's move on. Nineteen twenty seven. That's what I think of you. This is from eighty nine. I think uh, it says eighty eight, but I I think it was in the charts in eighty nine. It's on Warner. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's a rock song. Again, this was 99p. Most of these were 99p. A few of them I paid a bit more for. Uh, next up, we have Martika and her cover version of "I Feel the Earth." I feel the Earth move. Originally a Carol King song, of course, um, from the album Tapestry. This is on the Red CBS label. Um, I think it was my. Either my last video, or maybe maybe a couple of videos before that, um, where I showed another eBay lot that I got, and I got Toy Soldiers by Martigo. So, but yeah, I feel the F mood. This was a oh, top ten hit in the UK in eighty nine. Decent, decent cover version. It's a pop. It's a pop version of it. Uh, next up, we move into the nineties with Michelle Gale, Sweetness. Uh, she Michelle Gale was an actress in a British soap opera called EastEnders. Um, but then she moved up to have uh, something of a, a music career. And what's nice about this, and I didn't realize this when I bought it, but it also has the um, radio mix of Looking Up, which is the song that I think predated this. I think Looking Up came out first and then Sweetness. They're both really good songs. They're just like uh, pop, light R&B from the mid-90s. Uh, next we have... Oh yeah, Lost Weekend by Lloyd Cole and the Commotions. Really happy to get this on uh, with a, a picture sleeve. And this is, uh, I don't even know what kind of genre this is in. It's from 85. I like the label too, it's kind of cool. I always regarded them as sort of pop new wave-ish type of, type of music. Um, let's see, the B-side is Big World. I don't, I don't know that song. So yeah, very nice to get that. We have... Next up we have Jackie Graham, Step Right Up. This is a really good pop song from 1986 or 7, uh, copyright 86. Uh, it's on the EMI label. I always liked it, I think it's a really solid pop song. Um, next, we're getting close to the end of this box. We have uh, Real 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 by Jesus Jones. Um, this says sort of Oh, I was going to say early Britpop. That's not really true. It predates Britpop. It's really like uh, early, um, uh, what was called Manchester, M-A-D, uh, not M-A-N. And um, this is from 1990. It's a good song. Next we have Cold Cut, Doctor in the House. Now, I think this was featuring, was it Lisa Stansfield? Um... Was it Yaz? Uh, oh, Yaz. Yaz and the Plastic Population. Um, so, yeah, Cold Cut featuring Yaz and the Plastic Population. Doctor in the House. A little bit of an 80s uh, house classic. Really great track. And I don't think anybody else bid on that. I was really surprised. Um, second to last, we have uh, Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Annie, I'm Not Your Daddy. Uh, it's slightly sort of alternative pop, I guess. Um, that's an interesting label that it's on. It's on uh, ZZE Records. And I've never seen that label before. And this is from uh, 1982. And then the last one in this box is The Beautiful South, You Keep It All In from 1989. I, like, I actually really like the cover. It's nice. I think this was this was a num was it number one or a number two hit. Maybe number two in the UK. Uh, what label this is, is this on? This is on Go Discs. Don't see that one too often either. All right, so that's the end of the first box, the first batch. Um, and actually, that's the biggest one. This this one isn't as big. I can feel that there aren't as many records in this one. So let's open this one up. Yeah, I'm going to be on a little bit of an eBay hiatus for a while. Um, individually, these records weren't expensive, but, you know, it starts to add up. Uh, and I say that, although I did just buy one record on eBay today, but um, that's the first one I bought for a, a little while, <laughs> like a week. 
Um, next up we have, and if I start to, you know what, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta turn the ignition on in the car, it's getting so high in here. I didn't turn it on because um, I didn't want the uh, sound of the engine to uh, be, be a distraction, but um, it's getting too high, I'm starting to sweat. Okay, box number two. Yeah, they, there aren't as many in this one. Uh, first up, we have Yellow, The Race, from 1980... Oh, 88. I thought it was 89, but it says 88 on it. Uh, what's this on? It's on Mercury Records. Yellow, of course, were well-known for the song Oh Yeah. It's probably the, the biggest uh, hit. Next up, we have... Um, I always like this song, Gabrielle Going Nowhere. This was the follow-up single to the... Uh, to Dreams, which was a huge UK number one. This wasn't as big of a hit. It was still like top 20, but um, uh, I always liked it. I, I don't know why. I always liked the verse to this song, or the verses, I should say. Uh, this is also on Go Discs. So it's, uh, it's nice to have. Um, the B side is a, 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 a remix of Going Nowhere, which I probably haven't heard before. Uh, next up, okay, we're going to get in a little bit cheesy, but, but don't laugh. It was cheap. No one else bit on it. Uh, Boyzone, Love Me For A Reason. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, Boyzone, uh, this is where Roland Keating uh, got his, his start, was with the band Boyzone. They were huge in the UK. They were kind of up there with, like, Take That, um, as far as boy bands went. A bit of a rival. I guess E17 was sort of another rival. Uh, this is on... Polydor Records, and this was a big hit. This was, I think, a number two hit in the UK in ninety. Uh, let me think, ninety four, end of nine. Yeah, I think it was late nineteen ninety four, and it's good. Um, uh, th this isn't the original. Right? This is a cover version. I'm pretty sure. I can't think who did the the original, but in any event, uh, yeah, love me, love me for a reason. It's, it's, it's. I don't know. It's nostalgic. What can I say? Next up, uh, still in the nineties, but this is uh, a nineties. Dance track, Max, No More, I Can't Stand It. I did show um, the 7 inch single of Get Away, which is another single of theirs in my previous video. This is on Pulse 8 Records. Right here. Two different mixes on here. Side A would have been the radio, well, the, it says Airplay Mix, but that would have been the version that was played on the radio. Uh, next, we have another, this is another great track from 90s dance music, uh, Capella, Move On Baby. Uh, the Capella ended up being a little bit notorious. Um, there was an infamous performance they did on the British TV show Top of the Pops, this exact song, where the lady, and the, it was a, a live, I was going to do this, but it was, it was a live uh, version of the song, where the female vocalist was clearly not the same one uh, who performed on the record? <laughs> I mean, it, it was it was obvious. Like she wasn't in tune properly. Her voice didn't sound the same. And I think they later admitted it. Um, it's on an internal dance label. That's a new one for me. And they, I think they, it was pretty common knowledge that uh, uh, the, the the lady who was fronting the group was not the same one singing. Um, but uh, whatever. Uh, next up, this is uh, some more new wave here. Altered images and happy birthday. Um, this is on Epic Records, it's from 1981. Bit of a classic right there. Next we have London Beat, 9am. Um, I do have I've Been Thinking About You on vinyl, which is another hit of theirs, which I showed fairly recently. Um, this is on Anxious Records, which looks like it was an imprint of BMG. It's another new one for me. That's a nice song. It's like a slow, it's almost a cappella practically. It's a slow song. Yeah, it's not bad. Next up, oh yeah, Strawberry Switchblade since yesterday. Speaking of New Wave, what a classic. Uh, this is from what, 84, I think? Uh, yeah, 1984. Um, actually, it's just a beautiful condition. Very nice. Very excited to give that a listen. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Banana Rama and however you pronounce that, La Na 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 Ninu Ninu or something. This is a cover version of the Beatles' Help. Now, this was a song for the charity comic relief or the the charity event comic relief, which takes place. I want to say it's in around is it around March of each year, February March somewhere 
Light, something like that. Um, this came out in 1989, and that was the comic release song uh, for that year. It looks like it helps on both sides. I'm trying to see if one's like an instrumental or something. It doesn't say it is. Um, yeah, I guess it's just exactly the same version on both sides, but by the looks of it, that's on London Records. Big hit in the UK. It was uh, like a top top three, I think. Um, next up, we have here we go, <laughs> Tina Turner, the best. What a great song this is. Ah, uh, you know, it's pop, soft rock, but uh, from 1989. Oh come on, this has been used as an anthem for so many things. I mean, what a uh, it's sort of. A, a renaissance that uh, Tina Turner had in the 80s that sort of all culminated with this and like it's not her best song but it, I still like it next up oh yeah I, I accidentally ordered two copies of this there's another one coming um, from a different seller but anyway I think I bid on it more than once Jermaine Stewart we don't have to let me go that way up we don't have to dot 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 we don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time well I guess we don't uh, this is on 10 records. Um, that's the same label that the Flying Pickets were on, I remember, back in the early 80s. Pop Classic uh, from 1985 or 86, one of the two. It says 85, but I, th I thought it was a hit in 86. And then finally, uh, I really like this song, Kathy Dennis, Too Many Walls. I liked it as a kid in, in 1991, I still like it now. It's on Polydor, the Polydor label. Just a nice, uh, it's a pop song. Yeah. Pretty slow beat to it. I always liked it. Alright, that's all the 45s. Let's move on to the uh, 12 inch records right here. And um, I'm trying to see where to open this. Oh, yeah. Like I said, um, These are usually pretty tightly packed, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with opening it. Okay, there we go. Let's pull these out. Okay. There we go, a much, much smaller stack with these ones. Um, first up, we have uh, Tintin Out. Always, it's, that's uh, it's a, a cover version of always something there to remind me. This was a, a mid '90s dance set. It's actually got two records in there. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a top ten. I remember it being in the charts. This is another one that nobody else bid on for 99p. Sure. Uh, next up, a pretty big hit. This was in '86, I think. Um, Boris Gardner, I want to wake up with you. 12-inch. Um, mix and uh, let's have a look here I'm pretty sure it was 80s yeah 1986 this is on the review label um, yeah I assume it doesn't say I assume this this is a, a, a longer version of the song it doesn't say it is but I have to think it must be all right next we have Oh yeah, really pleased to, to win this. China Black, Searching. I really like this song in the 90s, 1994. It says copyright 92. Now that's interesting. I wonder if this is not the same mix that um, I was familiar with. This may well, it's got four different mixes on it. No, five different mixes on it. Um, I know it was remixed uh, for 94, so we'll see. I've heard several different versions of this song. Probably one of the versions on this is a is a, a mix I'm familiar with. Um, next up we have ah, Rapping Nation and Kim Mazel, Love Me the Right Way from 1990, this is 92, I thought it was 93, but hey. Um, and uh, it's on Arista Records, four different mixes on it. It's a, it's a 90s dance track. The cover's interesting, those look like, well, I don't know what those are. Somebody can tell me. I, I don't want to guess what, what these what what these I honestly I thought these were asthma inhalers at first and now I'm kinda of thinking, okay, it's supposed to be something a little more um I don't know it's got a brush on it. So I, don't, I don't even want to say. Let's move on. 
Um, oh yes, that's right. We're going to finish off with um, two albums. First up, um, this is a, this might be the one I paid the most for. It ended up being like four pounds or something. But Rose, Rose Royce Greatest Hits. I do have one um, of her albums. Um, I think the third one, her third album. Uh, but um, well, and the big hit on that was Love Don't Live Here Anymore, which is the lead track on this. But it's also got Wishy on a Star, Car Wash, I Want to Get Next to You. Let's have a look. This is on. Oh, that's another new one for me. Whitfield Records. Don't remember seeing that one. Hmm. This looks to be in very nice condition. And I, as I've said before, I find that with this particular seller that uh, sometimes the sleeves are a little bit hit or miss, but the. Um, the vinyl itself is almost always in very nice condition. I only had, uh, let's see, uh, maybe two records, and I probably ordered at least 200 from them. Uh, only a couple that won. Um, one of which I showed in my most recent uh, video, my previous video, which was, uh, I had to throw it out. It was, um, oh, Blue Pearl, Little Brother, the 12 inch single. It had a huge warp in it, and it was unplayable. Like the, the, the stylus was jumping all over the place. But uh, yeah, apart from that, I've, they've really been in very nice condition. Last up is uh, Now Dance 903. Um, now Dance is, a, is a, a, an accompaniment to the Now That's What I Call Music series. Now I have to admit, I do have this on CD already, but I, I stuck in like a low ball bid, only cost me a pound or two. Nobody, um, I can't remember, maybe one, one other person bid on it, which is why it was a couple of pounds. But for that price on vinyl, sure. Here's the back of it. Then these are all 12 inch um, versions of dance songs from, from the time. Now this was 1990, so you've got like Tenetronic, Betty Boo, 24 7, pleased to get that on vinyl, Inner City, Glenn Medeiros, she ain't worth it. That's not the first time I've seen that on dance compilations. It's kind of interesting. Um, Bassomatic, Fascinating Rhythm, that's a great track. KLF, The Adventures of Stevie V, Moni Love, Nina Cherry. Blue Pearl, which I just mentioned, LFO, The Soup Dragons, The Farm, Electribe 101, uh, Loose Ends, oh, interesting. Um, yeah, actually, I don't recognize a few of the ones on the on side four. Um, well, I, I know of Loose Ends, but I don't, I don't know the song, Don't Be a Fool. Um, Innocence, let, Let's Push It. Young Disciples, I've heard of. I don't know the song, though, Get Yourself Together. Um, Beats International and, uh, and Together, an artist called Together, I don't know. But uh, like the now albums, gatefold, information about uh, information about the song, the artist. Um, let's have a quick look. I'd be curious to see if the if the records look any different, like if the labels any different to the regular now albums. Uh, a little bit. They're in black. Yeah, the now albums at that time tended to be uh, a little bit of label damage right there, but never mind. The record itself actually looks good. The now albums of that time tended to be um, like a light blue color. Then they started branching out into like white and that type of thing. But so yeah, double um, double record set. And yeah, for like a pound or two, I just couldn't couldn't pass it up. Oh, this one's a different color. Yeah, there we go. We got a yellow yellow label on that one. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Very pleased to pick that up. So that's it. Um, that's everything I bought. Um, I don't remember if any of these were the ones I bid on when I was showing the video. I, you know, I went back later and bid on some more. But, uh, yeah, thanks as always, guys, uh, for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.